When he's made a new signing at Newcastle United, that particular player needs time to settle in. But it seems to me that Craig Hope is not giving Sancho Tonali any chance to settle at all whatsoever, yeah? And I want to talk about Craig Hope. I mean, listen, he had a, a dig at um, Sancho Tonali um, on his performance against AC Milan on Tuesday night. And before we talk about him, make sure you hit the like, subscribe as well. And if you'd like to become a member, it is just 99p. The link will be in the description very, very soon. Now, I want to talk about what Craig Hope has been saying about Sancho Tonali. Listen, he was um, one of the summer signing for 55 million quid on a five year contract. And when we got him, I was so buzzing. We got this guy. So buzzing, yeah. He wanted to, to join a project. He believed in the project. He believed in Eddie Howe. And he wanted to play for Newcastle United. I know a lot of people coming out and said that, oh, he didn't want to really want to come to Newcastle. He'd rather stay at Milan, right? But. He made the move. It's not easy leaving from one country to another, right? He had to have a settling system. He had to have a bedding system. You have to give the players time. It takes about a year to actually get things sorted out and become a better player, yeah? But after the first game against Aston Villa, the next few games, he's been subbed nearly every time. Whether it's fitness or maybe he's got a bit of an injury, like a muscle injury as well, and he hasn't been training a lot as well. Now, Craig Hope did a report in his Daily Mail about him, yeah? Okay, everyone's entitled to their opinion, yeah? But I think this guy went, went over the top, in my opinion, right? He had a go at him, saying that what's his position is. Is he a midfielder? Is he a number six? Is he a number eight? Yeah? But against Milan, he played on the left as well sometimes, yeah? And he can't... I'm not being funny, but... I think Craig Hull needs to take a little bit of a step back, right? Think of what he said and let Tanali do his thing, yeah? Because at the end of the day, right, we want great players in Newcastle United not to drive him out. But reporting what he did about the way he's playing, the way he's performing. And there's one quote when he said that his heart is back in the AC Milan, yeah? Well, if his heart's in AC Milan, Right, he would not have come to Newcastle, wouldn't he, Craig? He would not have come to Newcastle United. He would be in the first team at the San Siro, yeah. But it seems to me that he's kind of being negative, writing negative stuff about him, right? And we know the problem. We know what the problem is. The midfield ain't clicking yet, and everyone knows that. However, right, give it a couple of months, give it a season, and believe you and me, this guy is going to be a will beater. Yeah, I've got every confidence in Sancho Tonali. I ain't got one thing negative about this guy. In fact, to all of our players, yeah. Because as far as I'm concerned, once you put on the black and white shirt, all right, to me, I'm back in the 125%, yeah. Because that those players represent my football club, yeah. Represent my football club. I'm never going to play for Newcastle United. Do you know what? You play for the black and white. It makes our dreams come true and the player himself, yeah? But what Sancho Tanali don't want to hear is negativity stuff, yeah? Okay, he's not speaking English at the moment in time. He can speak English, but he doesn't feel confident as of yet, yeah? And people like Craig Hall, like I said, need to take a step back. Think of what he's saying, right? He is a negative journalism, right? He's, he's supposed to do Castle and, yeah, he's supposed to do black and white, yeah? And he cares for the club. But give the kid time and he will come great. But all this crap, and that's another thing I want to talk about, right? All the other fans, right, who don't support Newcastle United are coming out on social media and saying that this guy is unsettled. He does want to be at Newcastle United. He was forced out of Milan to come to Newcastle, right? That is absolute false, yeah? Sancho Nali wanted to come to Newcastle because we are Project and he's ambitious, and he wants to do things and make our club even better, yeah? Let's be real about that. So, the fans who don't support Newcastle, they don't know anything about it. They do not know what's going on, yeah? The only thing that's going on is Newcastle United. That is it, yeah? Eventually, he might want to go back to Milan. He may do. None of us don't know, yeah? But, one thing I'm going to say, he's in Milano, right? He played for Brescia, 
then he played for Milan. Yeah? And he's done good things. But Tonali wants a challenge. This is his challenge, yeah. And I'm backing him. It may take a year, it may take two years to click. But believe you and me, he's always going to be a fantastic player. So please lay off Sancho Tonali. And I hope the media and the, the fans who've done a support Newcastle, right, just back away because it's got nothing to do with you, yeah? But I am backing Sancho Tonali and he's going to be a success. So, guys, tell us your thoughts. If you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you like and subscribe. And as always, I'll be back in the next one.